Cornhole is a lawn game in which players take turns throwing 16-ounce fabric bean bags at a raised platform with a hole in the far end. A bag in the hole scores 3 points, while one on the board scores 1 point. Play continues until a team or player reaches or exceeds the score of 21. Cornhole matches are played with two sets of bags, two boards and two to four players. There are four bags to a set. Each set of bags should be distinguishable from the other, different colors work well. The American Cornhole League's rules call for double seam fabric bags measuring 6 by 6 inches and weighing 15. 5 to 16. 5 ounces although bags used to be filled with preserved corn kernels or dried beans, bags are nowadays usually filled with plastic resin or another material that will maintain a consistent weight and shape. Bags are usually dual-sided, with each side of the bag being a different material that reacts faster or slower on the board. Faster bags are preferred in humid conditions where bags will not slide as readily. Additionally, professional players may use different materials depending on their personal throwing styles. Players with a lower, harder throw may use more rotation and a slower bag material. Players with higher, softer throws may throw with less rotation and prefer a more reactive bag. Each board is 2 by 4 feet, with a 6 inch hole centered 9 inches from the top. Each board should be angled with the top edge of the playing surface 12 inches above the ground, and the bottom edge 3 to 4 inches above the ground. A regular court places the holes 33 feet apart, or 27 feet between the bottoms of the platforms. Shorter distances can be used when younger players are participating or there is not sufficient room. Though smaller versions, with scaled down board, bags, and holes are available for indoor and children's use from a variety of vendors. Bags are tossed from the pitcher's box, which is the rectangular area directly to the left or right of a platform. The bottom of the platform forms the foul line. Cornhole being played during a pregame tailgate party at Texas A&M University Commerce, Note that the player behind the board is not conforming to current rules for official gameplay because she is not in either pitcher's box. Cornhole matches are broken down into innings, or frames of play. During each frame, every player throws four bags, alternating teams between each throw. A player must deliver the bag from either the left or right pitcher's box, and remain in the designated pitcher's box for the duration of the game in doubles or crew. In singles play, a player will throw from both the right and left pitcher's box during the game as the players walk down to retrieve their bags in their designated lane. At no time will opponents throw from the same pitcher's box during a frame. Players may not step over the foul line or outside of the pitcher's box while pitching. Each player must deliver the bag within 20 seconds. The time starts when the player steps onto the pitcher's box with the intention of pitching. The player who scored in the preceding frame pitches first in the next frame. If neither player scores, the player who pitched first in the preceding inning pitches first in the next inning. Note, no foot can land past the front of the board until the bag leaves the hand, otherwise the point does not count. Cornhole can be played as singles, doubles, or crew format. In doubles play, four players split into two teams. One member from each team pitches from one board and the other members pitch from the other. The first side of players alternate pitching bags until both players have thrown all four of their bags, then the players pitching from the opposing. Cornhole board continue to alternate in the same manner until all four of their bags are delivered and the inning or frame is completed. In singles play, two players play against each other. Delivery is handled in the same manner as doubles play. Both contestants pitch from the same cornhole board and alternate their pitches until all of their bags have been pitched, completing the inning or frame. In crew format, each end of the board consists of two players from each team, with eight total players. Players will throw two bags each per frame, still in alternating fashion. In order to score, the bags must either be tossed into the hole or land on the board. A bag that falls through the hole is worth 3 points. The bag can be tossed directly into the hole, slide into the hole or be knocked into the hole by another bag. A bag that lands on the board and is still on the board at the end of the inning is worth 1 point. If a bag touches the ground and comes to rest on the board, it is removed from the board prior to continuation of play and not worth any points. Scoring is done by cancellation. Play continues until a player or team reaches or exceeds 21 points. In the common version of cancellation scoring, the total score for each team for the inning is totaled each round, and then the difference of the two scores is awarded to the team with a higher score. It is thus only possible for one team to score points each inning. For example, if one team lands two bags in the hole and one on the board for seven points, and the other team lands one bag in the hole and two on the board for five points, 
five points from the round would cancel out, and the first team would thus score two points. Because only one team can score points in each frame, it is impossible for both teams to reach or exceed 21 points in the same inning, and therefore ties are impossible. A cornhole match is played until the first player or team reaches 21 points at the completion of an inning. The winning team does not need to win by two or more points. Gameplay strategy varies by player and skill level. At the professional level, players can easily slide all four bags into the hole if no bag blocks the path. Defensive strategies are often employed to slow down gameplay or force opponents to make difficult decisions, such as throwing a blocker bag that rests in front of the hole. This forces an opponent to either slide through the blocker bag to reach the hole, throw another blocker behind the bag, or attempt a riskier airmail shot over the bag. An uncommon version of scoring also includes a two-point option. A bag is worth two points if it is on the board and hanging over the hole, but has not fallen through the hole. This version of gameplay disincentivizes aggressive gameplay and riskier airmail shots. Other unofficial scoring variations require one team to earn exactly 21 points to win. If a team's score exceeds 21 after any inning, it is called busting, and the punishment differs among various house rules. Options include that the team must return to 15 points, that the team must return to their prior score, that the team must return to their prior score and deduct one point from that score and that the team must return to their prior score and deduct from that the number of points they scored in the most recent inning. In some variations, if a team's score goes over 21 three times before their opponents reach or exceed 21, they win the match. The game described in Haleiger de Wint's 1883 patent for parlor quoits displays most of the features of the modern game of cornhole, but with a square hole instead of a round one. Quoits is a game similar to horseshoes, played by throwing steel discs at a metal spike. DeWint's patent followed several earlier parlor quoits patents that sought to recreate quoit game play in an indoor environment. His was the first to use beanbags and a slanted board with a hole as the target. He sold the rights to the game to a Massachusetts toy manufacturer that marketed a version of the game under the name Fababaga. Unlike the modern game, which has one hole and one size of bags. A Fababaga board had two different sized holes, worth different point values, and provided each player with one extra large bag per round which scored double points. In September 1974, Popular Mechanics magazine published an article written by Carolyn Farrell about a similar game called Beanbag Bullseye. Beanbag Bullseye was played on a board the same width of modern. Cornhole boards, but only 36 inches long as opposed to the 48 inches for cornhole. The hole was the same diameter but was centered 8 inches from the back of the board as opposed to the 9 center of cornhole boards. Each player threw two bags, weighing 8 ounces each, in succession. In cornhole, the players alternate throwing four bags, each weighing 15. 5 to 16. 5 ounces. The boards in beanbag bullseye were placed about 30 feet apart for adults, 10 feet for kids. Scoring was essentially the same as that used in cornhole. In the Chicago area, cornhole is often referred to as bags. The game spread in Chicago, Illinois, and the northwest region of Indiana in the late 1970s and early 1980s, perhaps due to the popular mechanics article mentioned above. The game's popularity on Cincinnati's west side in the 1980s spread to surrounding areas in Kentucky and southeast Indiana. The Collier Cornhole Tournament, held on the campus of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology the American Cornhole League was founded in 2015 by Stacy Moore. According to ACL's website, it promotes and develops cornhole as a sport on every level, and created software and apps to manage cornhole leagues, tournaments, special events, and player development. The American Cornhole Organization was established in 2005 and is headquartered in Milford, Ohio. As of August 1, 2019, the ACO claimed on its website to be the governing body for the sport of cornhole. The American Cornhole Association is an organization whose sole mission is to help cornhole players enjoy the game of cornhole. According to its website, only of the most important ways to achieve this goal is for people to have high-quality equipment to play on. Accordingly, it appears that ACA is more focused on selling cornhole-related products and equipment than it is on being a sanctioning body of the sport. However, it does have its own rules and does sponsor events. The following is a list of terms commonly used in cornhole. Thanks for watching.